Hello again guys, we are back at a secret location near Cape Town with the guys from Air Hunters and um, we've come out again to a spot where we had a lot of success yesterday. We came out yesterday with the FX Crown, uh, Rulf's Wildcat um, and my two impacts with the slug barrels and we had a lot of like, nice long shots to take and some close stuff and just nice variety of shooting. We're out again today, it's, it's quite foggy this morning, but we're just going to wait for the fog to settle a bit and then we're going to hit it hard and, and see what we can get. Same as yesterday, scope cam stuff, but thank you so much for having me here. Pleasure, my man. Really appreciate it and um, yeah, I'm definitely going to return here some other day, later this year or next year or something and, and keep on shooting here because this place is really one in a million. It is. But um, yeah, let's get to it and let's see what we can do. Okay, let's do it. Over the past couple of videos we've been focusing primarily on the pigeons but there are also plenty of European starlings here which are invasive species guilty of occupying roof space, spreading diseases to livestock and aggressively driving away other birds. They need to go and I'm more than happy to oblige. Nice. Clapped it. Very misty morning, um, second day here and unfortunately with all this fog our rangefinders are not working they're just completely really really struggling in this thick fog so we're just guessing and thankfully with this gun because it shoots so fast and because the bc is so high on these slugs um, it's very very forgiving with shots up to about 70 meters um, you know you can kind of estimate more or less where it is and you're more than likely to hit it whereas if we we're shooting something slow with a lower bc um, you'd have to actually get an exact range so been a bit lucky here. Um, not sure where I hit that starling, but it looked like a looked like a good shot. So we're just gonna maybe wait for the fog to lift a bit before we take the longer shots. But conditions are looking good. No wind right now. We just have to wait for it to um, heat up a bit and fog to lift. And I think that's going to be very very soon. So looking forward to it. We definitely got a styling down now that was about 60 meters I can guess very difficult to use the range finders this morning so uh, uh, the slug's got a nice flat trajectory so it flies nice and straight so uh, got that one down very happy the sparrows are also a big problem here and I know sparrows are usually thought of as pleasant songbirds but they were never supposed to be as many as this in South Africa their numbers exploded when farming practices were introduced in huge numbers that cause many problems and as a result they need to be controlled. Jeez, that was a loud pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, well that one definitely, I didn't even have to look at it to know that I hit it, I could hear it from, from here quite loudly, so nice to get one down. So that's the first sparrow of the day, um, got a starling down, got a sparrow down, it's probably going to be a few hours until the pigeons come in but we'll, we'll keep ourselves entertained with the, the starlings and the sparrows so long. While we wait for the fog to clear, we decide to shoot a can filled with water to demonstrate the terminal performance of hollow point slugs. You may have already seen this footage in a previous video, but it's worth seeing again. The hydraulic shock is crazy and any bird hit with that kind of force is going to have a humane and painless end to its life, which is exactly what we want. Eventually the fog clears, the sun comes out and another beautiful day reveals itself with the Cape Mountains in the background and very little wind. We decide to move away from the sheds for a change and see what the rest of the farm has to offer and we aren't disappointed. Going for the left, left one. Another one, there's, there's another two. Okay. Going for the left one. <laughs> Rolf emerges from behind the camera and blitzes a few sparrows with his wildcat. Sparrows seem to like these low lying thorn bushes. They use them as pit stops on journeys from farm to farm. And if you sit on one of these bushes and wait, you can shoot hundreds of them. In certain parts of Africa, small birds like sparrows and quellias cause so much damage that farmers actually have to hire hit squads that use gasoline and dynamite to take out a few hundred at a time. On livestock farms, the problem is mostly surrounding disease control, but wine farmers in the area also face big problems when the seeds inside the grapes are pecked out.
We find a pigeon hotspot near some feeding troughs out in a field and we get straight to work. Most of these shots are between 70 and 100 meters, so pretty far. The wind isn't too bad, but it was difficult to find a, a stable shooting position. Got my redemption there. First shot was not that great, but he flew all the way around, landed there, and I was able to pot him in the back for about 75 meters, so happy with that. Gerard takes a few shots with the crown, but the 18 grain pellets he's shooting have less than half the BC of the slugs and they do struggle a bit even in the slightest wind, so we decide to revert back to what's been working best. With time running out, we decide to move on to one last spot. There isn't much activity now, but our last victim of the day is a rock pigeon on a pole, and he gets knocked right over to round off a good morning of pest control. Well, that concludes my time here in beautiful Cape Town in the Western Cape. Um, it's been an absolutely fantastic time, and firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for it's for having me here pleasure, it was big awesome pleasure. the amount of shots we got on camera is just fantastic those long shots came out great yeah, really um, so i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy the footage i haven't even seen all the footage yet but it's going to be really good um, and I'm, I'm sure i'm going to come back here at some point and, and continue on because this is a really awesome spot but yeah that's wrap that's a wrap thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time